I am in Bath, Jamaica, which is uh, an interesting place because this is a very, very popular tourist spot uh, for like health people. They like to come here because there's a mineral spring nearby. And uh, so driving up, people are like, hey, hey, hey. even before we have even got out of the car, they were trying to get us to go up to like whatever they're trying to sell us up there. They do like massages and stuff like that. So if you get out of your car in the wrong place, like people just swarm you and try to like sell you stuff. But uh, the botanical garden where I am right now is completely empty. Uh, no one comes here and it's right by that spring. So everyone is trying to get me to go into that spring. I don't want to, I want to look at fruit. And I've already just like walking through here have found like a couple of weird things. Uh, one, nothing I can really eat though. One is uh, this guy, which is the elephant apple, which I've reviewed when I was in India. So you can check that review out. I'm not gonna, not gonna do that again. I think that is the elephant apple tree. I might be wrong, but there were elephant apples at the foot of it. But what's behind me over here, this tree, is a fish poison tree. It produces a fruit, this guy here, which is called fish poison fruit. And it's called that because you can prepare a poison out of it. It's not something that uh, you can eat. It's uh, not a good idea to eat this thing at all, but it is used, uh, I believe, to create something that is used by fishermen to help kill fish. It kind of looks like a coconut, but a coconut that was just kind of like squished on four of its sides. It's a beautiful tree, very, very big, and all around the base of it are these, well, that's the elephant apple again, all around the base of it are these uh, fish poison fruits. Let me just see if I can get one open. Yeah, it's like, it's very fibrous in there. So it would be difficult to get this thing open, and I don't want to get poison all over my hands, so I'm not, <laughs> not going to go too crazy there. So here are the, the fish poison tree. Yeah, here are the little babies. Like a nursery, you know? There you go. Yeah. So this one's pretty easy to grow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah these are growing all over the place. You know, imagine when it's going to get big, so you see where it's it coming from? Yeah. Real small, then look this Yeah, the one over there is huge. Yeah, so I think like these little, yeah. this little baby here, that's going to grow into a gigantic <laughs> tree. It's going to be yeah, like a building. Yeah, but right now, here's a little nursery of small ones. Yeah, first breadfruit tree which come in Jamaica. The first breadfruit tree first plant, right. was right here, yeah. but about 20 years ago, it died. The, it died because there's a hurricane that came through and it demolished a lot of the trees yeah. that are in here, including that piece of history. Yeah. <laughs> but that was the, the first breadfruit brought to Jamaica from Africa was brought to the Bath Botanical Gardens right. where I am right now. Right. So, so by name Captain Bly. Captain Bly brought it here. Kidding. This is also breadfruit, yeah. but uh, it came after. So some of these breadfruit trees are, uh, you know, they're from the parent tree, but they're the babies. Okay. Right. So this this tree was grown directly from the the original. And a lot of the ones around here, they're all, you know, grown from the seeds of the original. But the original, as you can see, is no more. But still, this is a very important spot in history because breadfruit is, like, integral to Jamaican cuisine. Like, that is, uh, people eat it every day here. So here's a nice jackfruit tree. See that growing there? Nice. This uh, botanical garden is impressive. It's very, uh, very old. So a lot of old trees, but uh, you can see like a lot of them got knocked down as well. So a lot of history, but still 
being rebuilt. This is the Bath Courthouse, built in 1747. So some of these trees are very, very old, or they're from their ancestors that were first brought here are very old. There are several different mango varieties in the, the garden here. This one is the sugar mango. Across the street there is a Julie mango, he said, but uh, not in the garden itself. This is a black mango. So we've got a few different varieties in here, but unfortunately it's not mango season right now, that's next month. So I've been seeing some mango fruits growing, but none of them have been ready yet. This trunk right here is allspice, what they call pimento here. And it's actually very tall, it's kind of interlocked or intertwined with these other trees here, so maybe it's a little difficult to see, but this white trunk is the allspice. Uh, and the... Come crush this one to smell it, okay? Okay. Yeah, smell it now. So that's the allspice leaf. Oh yeah, that smells just like allspice. Like cinnamon, cloves, nutmeg. Ooh, that's a good, very good smell. That's really, that smells really good. Uh, it's a shame the the allspice isn't in season right now because that would be a good one to try. He says that when it does go in season, it uh, the birds get to it before the people can in the in the garden at least. Maybe at a farm you can get it. So along the ground, there's like a few that are dried out, so you can kind of get like a little bit of an idea. All right, so this here is a bead tree. You can see them in there, those little brown tangled bits hanging there on the branch. That is the, the bean, or the bead tree pods. And here's the tree, very cool. And what's nice about this is that it's got like this very like vibrant, beautiful color to it. All these like red seeds, can't eat it. But you could take it, you can run it through with a thread and make necklaces out of it. String them on line. Yeah. Put them on board, one line down, one line down. And I can put it out the door more when I go. Like a decorator. Okay. When I'm going into your house, just Yeah, yeah, so it's like a beaded curtain. Yeah. <laughs> I gotcha, sure. Like... It's not even close to sunrise, dude. What are you doing? But uh, yeah, this would be like a killer thing to have on Etsy, to have like a necklace made out of these things. So uh, very cool looking, like, the, like very bright blood red color that these have. That's cool to see. I want to give a special shout out to AltPod and Smarter Every Day. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Patreon is how this channel happens, it's how I can afford to do all the things that I do. So if you want to help me out by supporting the channel and getting some bonuses along the way, check out the description. I also have these shirts for sale, those are in the description as well. See you next time. Bye.